Hey everybody, this is Mark with IELTS Tech One Twenty, and welcome back to another episode of Tech Then Versus Now. And in this episode, we're going to be comparing monitors from today and back in the day. So monitors used to actually have different resolutions. Now used to widescreens with TVs and stuff like that. But we used to have things that were square. People thought four by three aspect ratio was for some reason good, and that is why we were out of the HD time for a very long time and like the best resolution you can get was 480p. That was because of the limited size that you could get with a 4x3 monitor. Now we have things that are 16 by 9 so 16 across 9 high that's just your aspect ratio and this will allow you to get resolutions really extremely high and with the introduction of 16 by 9 we finally got HD video starting off with 720p which we didn't even start with this channel now we're in 4k which is only 16 by 9. monitors also used to be really really big they used to be extremely thick and now if we look at something like this size it's incredibly thin not as thin as your phone but that's not a monitor that is a display on top of a computer which is probably even more impressive but they used to have like this huge tube going off of the back of them now we got things called flat screens or flat panels where it's flat, um, it's pretty thin, and um, not a lot has, there's not a lot to it. This has an HDMI port, a VGA port, and an AV one. So we had tons of different mounting options for connecting this little tiny monitor right here. Whereas this one right here only has VGA and a DVI. So with more modern monitors, you get way more options to connect your different computers to, where then you really only had a couple of different options. TVs and monitors back in the day used to be kind of small as well, so this was probably a pretty big computer monitor, maybe a little bigger than average, but now this is really tiny, and who uses a 4 by 3 aspect ratio anyway? So this is really small, but today we've got things that are much bigger. So now these are some of the more modern monitors. You can see it's extremely huge compared to previous monitors. If you compare it to a TV, it's nothing at all, but they're really, really big. This is a 2560 by 1440p monitor, which is um, about 2.5K. Now this one is 1080p right here, and um, it's not the best resolution compared to today's standards, but it's really great compared to what we used to have. And both of these are 16 by 9 widescreen monitors. And the sizes, this one's 24 inches and this one's 27. They're huge compared to any monitors. And because this is Apple, it's proprietary, so it's using Thunderbolt to connect to my Mac Pro. But this computer over here is using HDMI, which is pretty much a port that is on everything and is kind of used by everything. As you can see, they're extremely thin. They're flat on the front and the back, and there's really no bulge at all like we used to see with older monitors. The difference between TVs and monitors have really gotten smaller. There's not much of a difference at all. If you get a 50-inch monitor, it's pretty much called a TV, and the only difference is that it has a remote for it, and you have a kind of different ports. Many computers nowadays connect to their monitors over HDMI, which is this port right here. Our cameras, both of them, have HDMI ports that can output to monitors like this, and TVs have the exact same port. So while you may have more variation in ports such as optical audio or maybe AV or something like composite, um, you still get the same type of ports on um, monitors and TVs. For example, downstairs, I have a TV which is connected to an Apple TV and a dish hopper, and they're both over HDMI. And in the office, I have a monitor connected to my Mac Pro with HDMI as well. So I'm not using any of the weird, fancy old ports on my TV. It's HDMI and so is my monitor. So the difference is really not much at all. They both use kind of the exact same ports. But there you have it. Those are monitors from then. They were square, smaller, fatter. Now they look a lot better as well because we have HD and 4K and 8K resolutions. 
everything is a lot nicer, thinner, simpler, and the ports, we have more variation, but it's actually um, a little bit more similar across all of the platforms, which is kind of nice as well. If you guys like this episode, leave a like and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more episodes of Tech Then Versus Now. This is Mark with Optech128, and I will see you in the next one.